Hello to all my friends out there. This video is crazy cheat meal number two. I'm going to be cooking a cheat meal out of the stockpile every day this month. This is a ham and cheese sandwich. What three things did I stockpile today and why? So, okay, I have what it did is I switch from pork chops to ham steaks for now and I'm frying my ham steak in a little bit of oil and I bought hamburger bun so um, I'll just toast my hamburger bun here in the pan when I melt the cheese. It's already soft. I just bought these. I found these to be good. I bought them at, and I have some cheese in my freezer. This is gonna be a pretty good sandwich, you guys. Okay, so that couldn't be easier. Okay. I hope everyone is, it's been really cold here. Uh, we didn't get more rain though, like they predicted. But it was really, really cold at night. Okay, so uh, what did I stockpile today? Three things. Okay, once you get a stockpile and you don't have to buy any food, then you can stockpile a little food all the time so you're not going to be running out. So the first thing that's very important to consider is, am I ever going to run out of bread? So one of the best ways to stockpile for bread is crackers. Okay, I discovered these crackers at Dollar Tree. This one's, no, this one is really, really good, and I haven't tried this one yet, but I bought these. So I bought basically about a month's worth of crackers. Uh, not as much, and I saw these. I'm going to have these tonight. These are kind of expensive, but they're kind of really good, and then, you know, I get these all the time because... I eat soup. So I have soup and bread or crackers. Then uh, I've been uh, making muffins to go with my tea. Uh, you know, the diet is coming along okay, but uh, you do have to watch what you eat. So I bought cookie mix so I can have cookies. Then yesterday I had, um, I had a salmon sandwich. I made a salmon patty. Those were good, by the way. Oh, and I, I posted, I found the video and posted the video, welcome to our party that I did at my friend's house because I think it's kind of nice. What is this person really like? What is this person doing? Well, this was four years ago, but this is basically it. Ooh, yummy. This is what I'm really doing. Yummy, I'm not going to be starving. So, um, we make salmon patties. So, this is a lot cheaper than eating out at Aldi's. I mean, Arby's. Okay. And so, we, we were having fun, and you know, the food on the video, we um, we barbecued those um, those salmon patties on a grill outside in a cast iron. Uh, I don't remember what happened. I think the video was two parts, but uh, we barbecued those. So I have some barbecue sauce. I bought this at uh, Aldi's. I think I'm gonna be shopping there now. So let's have a little barbecue sauce. Yummy. And then I have a little horseradish. So this is literally um, a meal in minutes. And then I have some of these um, green olives with garlic. I bought these at, um, I think it was 99 cent only. And then I want to have those crackers. I could have chips, but since I have the crackers, I'm just going to have some of these crackers if you've never tried them. Um, 
it says on here uh, 2.5 servings. So uh, you figure uh, 65 cents. So each one of these little uh, things would be a serving. Uh, sometimes I eat a lot of crackers uh, when I eat soup. So uh, this would be $1.25. So these are good. Uh, they were like all broken up, but you know, they taste really good. This is one of my better ones. It may not look very impressive, but it's very delicious. I think I'll pick up a couple more. Um, I'm satisfied with the, I'm satisfied with the, uh, soup and sandwich and the diet is going pretty well. How about this? Yummy. I have to let that cool. I, I wrecked my blouse. I'm so mad. This is a Vera Wang blouse. Of course, I got it at the thrift store, but still I'm not trying to, uh, wreck it. All right. I'll have a little bite. Okay, so to replace my salmon, I bought, I noticed they had these. I just bought one, but I'm thinking about buying more than one. So, um, I have, I stockpiled a bunch of these. I have all kinds of different kinds of tuna. I have, um, I have chicken. I don't have that much chicken. And these are the salmon, so I only have three of those. I think I figured out this was about 15. And then, so I'll put the crab meat. It feels like a lot. How much is in here? Uh, 3.5 ounces. So I have a, a good uh, crab. Here is the crab. Um, I make it like the salmon patties if you didn't get the recipe. But this is a lot, so, you know, I would just, um, I would just, I would make, if I use the package, I would put, you know, mayonnaise to taste, a uh, one raw egg, uh, Worcestershire mustard and hot sauce to taste, breadcrumbs or um, crackers, um, parsley, salt and pepper. So I would make it just like the salmon patties. So also for bread, I have these stockpiled. Biscuits are really good with gravy. All right. So uh, today was a wild day. I don't know. I don't know if I got up on the wrong side of the bed on the wild side. So um, I'm, I'm being bad. I'm drinking Diet Coke in the middle, literally, of the night. I'm not having tea because today I had, uh, for lunch, I had quite a few crackers and now um, a hamburger bun, so I'm watching my uh, carbs and I play, put some good exercise videos, you know, walking on my Twitter for you guys. Okay, so now I've been studying the Egyptian way of life. Not because I have any interest in Egypt, because I don't, but what I do have an interest is how did these primitive people, these necklaces, I'm looking for the replacements. How did these primitive people survive? What did they do? What did they eat? Well, one of the most uh, interesting things uh, in my mind was the fact that on their uh, seafaring vessels, they grew crops. So here is my indoor uh, garden. That's about, believe this, 50 cherry tomato plants and those will grow year round. So what I plan on doing is there, my plants are not happy because see this poor guy, I will buy 49 of these, <laughs> if they, but 
it was by the window and it was so cold that look, he's almost frozen stiff. Sorry. Send them love. They need it. Okay, so I'm doing the indoor garden. So the Egyptians grew food on their vessels and uh, I figure plants. So um, the rich Egyptians took with them, and I did videos for months on this, to the afterlife fruit. So I was making canned fruit, jam, I have bananas over there. I, I might make banana bread, wine. So I stockpiled grape juice and I actually made quite a bit of grape juice. Oh, where is that? So if you do some of this stuff, and I made raisins, which I use in my cookies. Uh, roasted duck, couldn't find any duck because of the avian flu, bread and cake. So that is why I wanna make sure I always have some kind of bread. And then for a while there, I made tons of cakes. I'm still going to, okay. Then the rich people have roast beef, pomegranates, figs, gazelle, ostrich eggs. I can't, I can't get any gazelle or ostrich eggs. But the thing about pomegranates and figs is they're storable. The poor people have bread, beer, vegetables, fish, and rice. And then in their culture, um, garlic and onions were big. Okay, I want to show you my crazy tattoo. Yes, inspired by, never get tattoos when you're young. Never, never, because you're gonna be old and your your skin is gonna be old and you know, don't do it. But this is actually the second tattoo that I drew on myself. So if you would like to see the other one, go to my Instagram. Okay, so the three things were crackers, muffin mix, and cookie mix. And I like those Jiffy, um, Jiffy cake mixes, the 99 cent only ones and uh, um, and uh, brownie mixes. I will be getting some of those. And also I have a lot of pudding and jello that I want to use. Okay, I think that is it. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all. Bye.